Lab number four is entitled DJ Mixer Bass and Treble Tone Controls. In this lab we're going to add a bass and treble control to our mixer to allow us to match the sound to the room acoustics and personal preferences. Why don't we turn to page number six. Let's take a look at what we have in the current mixer and what we're about to add to it. Here in lab two we built a power amplifier with a volume control for our speaker. We also built a crossfader, and we converted a stereo to monaural inputs of our CD player as one of the inputs to the crossfader. And then, in, likewise in lab two, we made a differential amplifier for a microphone and also fed that in the crossfader. In lab three, we, again, did a stereo to mono converter for the signals coming off of the stylus of the vinyl record player. And then we designed the RAAA equalization circuit. And we fed that into our crossfader. We're going to be adding this week as a bass and treble control to the mixer, and this is going to get us uh, pretty close to our final system. Now, in the course on pages 24 to 32 of chapter 2, we designed a bass and treble control from scratch. And we started from specifications and began putting together configurations and components. In this lab, I'm going to ask you to reconsider the design of the bass and treble control circuits that we did in class. I'll also ask you to think about lowering the cost of the design by trying to combine some of these functional blocks. Figure 1 shows the bass tone control that we designed in class in Chapter 2, pages 28 to 32. And Figure 2 shows the treble tone control that we likewise did in class on pages 24 to 27 of chapter 2. We drew the body plots out of the bass and treble control versus rotation in the class notes. Now if you look at page 27 of chapter 2, you'll notice that for the treble tone control, that when the pot is turned to 1 8 of its rotation or slide, uh, the gain is about 5.8 dB. And then in the bass control circuit, the value for the same pot rotation is about 12.5 dB. Now our ears are logarithmic to sound levels, and the treble tone control actually will sound more linear with, with a, using a linear pot because of how the gain varied with rotation. We need to use a linear pot because of the center position, the case where we just pass the signal. Can you rethink the bass tone control to have a gain versus rotation like the treble tone control? Think about the differences and the similarities between the two designs. As an alternative design challenge, I'd like you to think about the two individual circuits. We're going to put these together by cascading them. In other words, we'll take the bass control circuit and hook it up to the treble. They can be in really in any order. But if you think about what's going on, between 20 hertz and 200 hertz, the bass tone control is doing its variation. Between 200 hertz and 2 kilohertz, both circuits have gains of just one. And then between 2 kilohertz and 20 kilohertz, just the treble control is being manipulated. So it's possible to somehow combine these circuits, maybe get rid of one of the op amps. So could you think about trying to do that for uh, the next lab? Now the tone control we designed in class used certain values of resistances. And if you look at our parts cabinet that we had in lab two, and in fact the second parts cabinet at the end of this lab, you'll see that some of the components I picked are not available. Could you go back and repick those numbers such that we do use the parts that are in the parts cabinet. And again, I wouldn't, don't want you to use series and parallel combinations, but, but to use values that we have available in the parts cabinet. I'd like you to do a piece by simulation of your design before you come to lab with figure one, connected to figure two, no matter how you do this, between one hertz and 100 kilohertz. Again, we're using just ideal op amps here. With both pots set in the middle position, then the base pot set to the boost and the treble pot set to the cut. In another simulation with the base pot set to cut and the treble pot set to boost. And then another one with the base pot set to boost with the treble set to boost. And then one last set of simulations with the base and treble set to alpha one eighth and three quarters. Please read through the lab procedure part of this lab besides the lab lecture because there'll be a quiz at the beginning of the lab. Again, I'd like you to make two copies of your design. Submit one to your lab instructor at the beginning of lab, and then hang on to the other one because you'll need it for building and testing the circuits. You may want to also bring your piece files so you can check out what the actual values you are measuring and be able to 
verify that your design is working. And this is lab number four, a base and treble control.